Hello, welcome to the vlog. Hello, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Jack's driving me to the airport. Uh, it's actually Wednesday, my dudes. We had quite a, I don't know, I've, I've a nothing start to the week. It was just uh, meetings, bank holiday Monday. I feel like I had, I, I had one of those sleeps when you know that you've got to be up early the next morning so you just wake up every hour. It's the same every time. I know, it's the worst. I am back down to London. I'm actually in London this week and next week. So that's us back to it really. I'm going down for a photo shoot which I am very delighted, excited and nervous about. It's been a while since I was like the, oh, I don't want to say model, but that's kind of what I'm going to be. I don't know if I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say. This photographer though. You're not allowed to say until probably we all I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll ask when I get to London, but the photographer that I'm working with is pretty unbelievable. I'm a huge admirer of her work. So it's just going to be really cool. It's going to be so cool. Uh, the images are not going to be out. You won't, you won't see this shoot for a pretty long time, but it'll be worth it. So I don't, I'm really hoping that I can film wee bits, but you know how it, how it is. Just be sneaky. Sometimes, I know. Be sneaky and then I'll do my best to just come up any. Any, yeah, I am a bit nervous. I guess just no one, no one feels their absolute best after a year of lockdown. And like, I even feel like lately with the house moving stuff, I've not really been taking as many photos lately. So it's just slightly out of my comfort zone, maybe. You're shy, I'm a bit shy. I'm <laughs> a bit shy. Anyway, it's a gorgeous sunny day, and I'm really hoping that. That's the case down in London. <laughs> Look at all of that. Oh my god, that's a dream come true. Oh, dreamy. I'm having a dilemma, right? Because I've got this photo shoot tomorrow, so I really don't want to eat anything that's going to make me feel bleh. But it's been a really long time since I ordered room service. And I think, right, no, I think I know what I'm going to get. I think I know what I'm going to get. It's a bit of a treat. Yeah, maybe I'll get chips. Let me see what the sides are. Sweet potato fries? No. I've really waited for this for, for what feels like so long. I'm so excited. I mean, there's burrata on this menu, but I'm not going to get it because that would be a nightmare. Yeah, I know what I'm going to get. Do you know what I'm going to do as my treat? I'm going to have a glass of wine. Just one glass of wine. Here we go. Hi there, can I please order some room service? Just one. No, no allergies. Can I please have the steak tartare and the citrus chicken uh, and I'll get a side of the sautéed Jersey Royals, please. Yeah, can I get a uh, hot water and lemon? And then can I also have a glass of the Pinot Noir? It says the Cycles Gladiator. Great. That's great. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye. That was thrilling. <laughs> I've got roast potato. What did I even get? Chicken, potatoes. Nice. Steak tartare. Lovely. Hot water and lemon. Good for you. Big glass of red wine. Okay. Shall we do our room tour? It's been a while. So I'm staying at the Ned. I'm really happy to be here. I really like this hotel. Look at this big bed. Oh, look at all those pillows. I feel as well when I travel now, I'm looking at the decor a lot more. I love the panelling on these walls. Actually, that's a really good point. This is really similar to what I'd like in our bedroom, but without this detailed part. I really like this big panelling at the top and then the small one at the bottom. I think it's beautiful. One thing that I love so much is this light fitting. Like, I love it. And I just wonder where on earth they got it. We've got a nice big bed. I wonder if I've got a view. A wee chair. I never ever sit on the little chairs. Is it a view? Ah, oh, just the street. London. Oh, it's raining again. But I don't even... I'm not looking out the window. Little desk and chair. Is that a window as well? Surely not. Oh my god, it is. Oh, what? That's quite a scary window. Weird. Anyway, I love the floors in here. The big beams. So that's the bedroom. There's a little bar, which I will not be delving into. 
We've got some water. Oh, tea and coffee for the morning. Sanitized and sealed. Oh, oh, try and stop me. What's in here? Cool. I didn't think that we'd have a mini bar, but the thing that I'm most excited about. Got a bath. So the Ned is a part of Soho House, which means when you stay here, you get full size cowshed products to use during your stay. So it means that I can use a nice bath foam, maybe do a wee scrub, put my body oil on. That would be so nice. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Mirror. Really nice. Really, really nice. Oh, I love that. I love that. I wonder if I can find out where this is from. Lafroy Brooks, there we go. And that's my little room. I can't explain how nice it is to be in a hotel. When me and Charlotte came down two weeks ago for our big Vive meeting, we stayed in an Airbnb and it just, it was, I think Airbnb, you can get total winners, but it can feel quite cold. And it's just, it's just not the same vibe as a hotel. I love being in a hotel because I know that there's people around me. You go through like a lobby to get to your room. See at Airbnb, you're essentially just got like a front door key. I just really like this. And I've stayed here once before. When did I stay here? But then, I can't remember, but it was ages ago. They've got a really lovely spa, but I'm here, I got here at seven and I'm out of here at half past seven tomorrow morning, so I won't get to use it. I mean, I didn't know they've got a pool. I didn't know they had a pool. I would so have brought like a wee swimming suit and gone for a wee swim. I've not been swimming in so long. That was poor planning on my part, but I have just ordered my dinner. Love that for me. And I'm gonna have a bath and I'm actually gonna get some stuff done and go to my bed early because it's quite an early call time. What I might do after my dinner is practice one of the makeup looks I'm doing on myself tomorrow. I'm doing a graphic liner, right? And I've done it a million times, but I bet you tomorrow's the day it goes really wrong. You know, sometimes liner just goes wrong. So I think I might practice. My phone's been going a bit nuts today, so I need to sit and do some work. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and get an early night and chill out, really. Today, uh, you might have seen all the B products. Skin Jay was going out today, PR was going out. I was at the office uh, really briefly watching that all happen. And it was just really cool. I've never, I've not ever seen a Vive PR going out because I've never been there. I've always been in Glasgow. So it was really cool to see that. I could see loads of people that I love, their dresses going on their boxes. It was just really cool, really, really good. I used to do these days in London all the time and it's been a, it's been quite a while since. I think it'll take me a wee while to get into the swing out of it again because I was really shattered after the last trip down, but I'm feeling good, just really starving. I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, practice my eyeliner, have a bath, do my work, go to bed. Missing Jack, I FaceTimed him when I got here, showed him my bath, he's very happy for me. But yeah, nothing else to report really. Part of all, I'm just dead happy. I can't wait, I can't believe I'm sleeping in that bed tonight. I just found a briefcase in my room. That was on the chair behind my bag. Weird. It's got a laptop in it and a diary. I didn't read it, because you're not meant to do that. But someone's coming to get it. Weird. I wouldn't have even looked inside, but I got a fright. I didn't know if it was bad. It came. The suspicious bag is away. Oh, yum. This looks amazing, look. Chicken, potatoes. Great. And some of you will be sick at this, but steak tartare is my ultimate fave. It does remind me of Mr. Bean though. He doesn't like steak tartare. <laughs> and you know what? I've been watching a lot of you. I've been re-watching you and I really like it. So I'm going to watch that on my phone and eat my dinner. And what a flipping treat. I really do feel so happy right now. Wow. Oh my God, I bet this is going to be glorious. I'm not having steak tartare in so long. This is such a cute little bath. A lot of you were wanting a bath review. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, I'm so excited. There's something about just having a night away that, I don't know, it just is so nice. It's so nice to be somewhere different. It's so nice to be somewhere nice. I feel very lucky and 
it makes you appreciate home, I think. I always love, like, when I get to the airport, because usually it's been after work, so I'm tired, and then I get home, and it's nice. And we've not done that much from the new house, so it's really, oh my goodness, this floor is heated. Wow. Apparently, heated floors don't actually heat up the room that much. But it is cozy now. Oh my god, I feel why on this floor. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much I like that. No, I want a heated floor. I can't believe I've got a bath. I really didn't think I was going to have a bath. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Can I? So nice. There's even a little deodorant. Mouthwash. That is really quite something. They've got everything. Aww, they've even got a tampon. Comb, shower cap, earplugs. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness me. Oh, and there's nice body lotion as well. I've got a secret weapon when I travel. I feel like whenever you travel on a plane, you always get bloated. Hot water and lemon. And you just drink tons of it. This is all, I'll drink this whole thing. And it's not that hot anymore. It's like lukewarm. And it's so nice. Mmm. If you're feeling extra fancy, have some ginger. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my lovely bath. I'm going to give myself a really good like facial massage just to de-puff. I got my emails done. I cannot believe this, right? It's actually really stressing me out. I need to sort it. My mailbox is full, which is a me problem. I don't delete emails. Not even like rubbish ones. You know, you get, I don't know. Just emails I don't need, I never delete them and I'm going to have to start because my mailbox, I, I thought, I was looking at my phone all day and I was like, my texts were all coming through and that was fine and I've got a couple of email accounts that emails were coming through but my main email account, I was like, it's very quiet today, this is nice, I wonder if, wonder if this is the new thing, maybe everyone just leaves you alone. No, my mailbox is full, so I need to sort that. That bath is filling up really quickly. It's just, it's not a huge bath but it's really nice. Only thing is, I didn't bring my laptop and I actually really needed it. That was an oversight, but alas. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I practiced, wait. Look, I did a practice. That looks good, right? I did it, I actually did it quite quickly. I thought, hmm, interesting. I really thought I was gonna have to get up super early and do that here before, maybe I still will, because I did that really quickly in the bathroom mirror and that is, better than doing it on set, it's a bit scary. Make a shaky hand. No, I really like that. I really want this dressing gown. <laughs> How lovely is that looking? I am going to prop my phone up here, wash my face, wash my graphic liner off, <laughs> do like a full body moisturise as well, just so I'm all prepped. I also, look at this, these are my nails for the shoot. I am kind of obsessed, look how shiny they are, wow. This is what I was asked to get by the stylist. This is a bit of a clue, actually, about who I'm shooting with. If anyone is a photography fan, this is quite iconic for the person that I'm shooting with. I've, my toes also match, but they're covered in sock fluff, so I'm not going to even put myself through that. I'm going to go and enjoy my bath, and I will see you tomorrow. Ugh, nervous. I'm just having my coffee. I was so tired. But the photo shoot went so well. Uh, it was so good. It's been a while since I did that. So I was up, I think, I was up at six. Call time was eight, but I got there at about 22 eight. And I just started getting ready and we did our thing. Finished, it was, it was really back to back. And then I had to get straight into a taxi to the airport to get the flight home because even though there's flights, they're not, there's not that many. So if I'd missed my flight yesterday, then I, that was the last flight home. So got home. Um, I had quite a bit to catch up on just because I was, I suppose like taken out for a day. So I did that last night and I was so tired that I went to bed with my hair still styled from the shoot. And I woke up this morning and I looked at myself and I was like, I need to have a shower 
right now. So I had a shower. I have got an appointment today at Age Refined with Laura Miller. I've been going to Laura Miller for a really long time and I am really excited. I just feel like I feel like I've got in, in a really good place and I know exactly what I like with my kind of aesthetic stuff. I definitely don't get as much as I used to. It's all about tweakments. Laura is amazing at tweakments. Back in the day I used to say to her, I was like, loads of my lips, cheeks, chin, everything. Um, and she obviously, you know, she did it and I, I think it looked great, but as I've got a bit older, I think, I, I do think like less is more a little bit. So I'm getting some tweakments today. I'm finally getting my Botox, which I think that that's like my favorite thing, see Botox. You have to do it every like three months, but for me, it just keeps my forehead so smooth and I get a slight lift in the tail of my brow, uh, which I really like. I think I'm gonna get just a tiny bit in my top lip, but I'm gonna go see Laura and see what she thinks. A uh, area that I've never liked on myself, and it's okay, it's okay not to like everything about yourself. I really get self-conscious about this area, my chin, and just like my lower face in general, I've just got a rounder face, not my face, so I'm gonna see what she thinks. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I woke up to some really great news. <laughs> I kind of freaked out, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of freaked out. I think it's just been announced, but I got a message from my team, British Vogue Beauty Awards, and Vive is in the Influencer Beauty Mogul of the Year category. <laughs> in the Vogue Beauty Awards. So I've kind of, I've kind of freaked out. The other people in that category are, wait until you hear this, it's just mental. I can't believe it. Charlotte Tilbury, who's a beauty. Live Tinted by Deepika. Way by Jen Atkin. Pat McGrath. Summer Fridays by Mariana Hewitt and Lauren Gores. You Beauty by Tina Chen Craig. And then, and then me. <laughs> Are you excited? Is that what it is? Are you so proud? <laughs> Are you proud as well? Anyway, I'm so um I'm so honoured. Proper pinch me moment. And it's so funny, you really <laughs> Yeah, you can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it to be nominated. That's just mental. It's so good. It was so good. So I'll leave a link down below where you can go and cast your votes if you wanted to do that. Cool start to the morning, uh, pretty pretty nuts. Really, really good. And today's Friday as well, so I'm gonna go for my appointment and then I am going to get everything that I need to get done before the weekend so we can have a bit of a chill weekend because next week's gonna be pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy. Look at me, just went to... This is what Juno does when she wants attention. She just, it's always her bum. She always gets a wee bum scratch. Let's go for our appointment. Hello, good morning. It is the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. This is the hair I'm dealing with. I went for my appointment yesterday, and this is what I'm talking about when I say tweakments. I had a tiny bit of filler in my lips. I think it was like 0.3 mils. And I got my Botox top up and already I feel fresher, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna sort my hair out. I've got my GHD Glide, the hot brush. This weekend, uh, the weather's crap. Can, honestly, classic Scotland. As soon as everyone's allowed to go out and do things, the weather changes to be so bad. Like it's um, May and it's cold and raining outside. It's enough to drive you crazy. <laughs> Will it stop us? Absolutely flipping not. We're going to the pub. Me and Jack are going for a couple of drinks. The rest of this weekend is going to be spent packing because we are in London next week. Ow. Fucking hell. I think I'm gonna have to put a bunch of oil in my hair. Oh my God, what's going on? I washed my hair after getting it styled at the shoot and it was really a lot of product in it. I need oil. I've got the Olaplex bonding oil here. I'm just gonna have to really brush my hair, I think. We're in London next week shooting and I really need to pack my kit. I've not packed my kit since we shot the campaign, which was last August. So it's been a while. It's gonna be a pretty crazy few days, but that's re it's really part of the fun. So I think today, me and Jack are gonna to go to the pub and have a couple of drinks. We've got dinner and then we're just gonna chill out. And then tomorrow the vlog will go up and it's kit packing day because Monday it's full of meetings and then we leave on Tuesday. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. So I'm gonna show you a quick makeup look and I'm actually gonna 
film a couple of Instagram stories while I am doing it and I'll show you how I do that. It's funny, content creation. I was talking about this with Laura Miller yesterday. In its essence, it's easy. You know, you can easily take a couple of videos and cut it together and it looks good. I think one of the, the hardest parts of, of doing it is actually time management and remembering to do it. A lot of makeup artists and a lot of even like hairstylists are the same. They're creating gorgeous work, but the hard part is remembering to take the content. So it's something that I try and do. For example, I'll do my makeup. I really want to do a couple of stories with Skin Dew, which launched properly yesterday, but we have our 24 hour early access every time. It's something that I'm really proud of because it just takes the pressure off. You know, that our Vive community that love the product. There's nothing worse than, I don't know, being stuck on a website and a queue and then it's selling out and no one, like, it's just not fair. I don't, I don't think it's fair. So we give um, our community the opportunity to basically get it first before it goes live. And all you have to do is sign up with your email address, get a account on vive.co.uk and you will get your 24 hour early access. It's as easy as that. It's not some exclusive club. Well, it is, we'll make, we make it exclusive. But yeah, you can be part of it. I really love it. So everyone started to get their skin due. I've spent all morning on my phone watching everyone's stories and reading all my messages of people getting their product and what they think. And I'm just so happy. I thought I would film a couple of Instagram stories of me using it today because I'm doing a very natural makeup look. Just because the weather's shocking outside and it's... I don't know, it feels like a bit of a lazy Saturday today. This brush is great. Uh, this isn't sponsored, but I do work with GHD. It's so quick to do it. I really flipping like it. And it just smooths out your hair. It feels, um, I don't know, it's less, it's less commitment than actually straightening your hair, but you get a really similar result. If you've got short hair and no extensions, this is just amazing. If you've got long hair and no extensions, just as good. If you've got extremely thick long hair, I would recommend the GHD Max, which is the really thick, chunky straightener. It's only been 24 hours, but already, I just think that everything's looking a bit fresher. I look like I've had a really good night's sleep, basically. And my lips, uh, they're still a bit swollen actually, but I used to swell a lot. I used to get more product in my lips and now I don't. Uh, so I just think that they look hydrated, a little bit fuller when I smile. I just got a little bit more of a top lip. Laura was saying that um, I really didn't have any filler left in my lips and she actually looked at my cheeks and my chin and we looked at my previous appointments. There's um, no filler left in my cheeks or chin. This is just my face. I also had a conversation with her about filler migrating because it seems to be a bit of a conversation online at the moment. Laura was saying that really good quality filler and good quality product and if it's applied or, or, or put in the right place, it doesn't really have the space to migrate. From what I've learned, if someone was getting their lips done and the product's injected too deep, that's when it can move up here into your like, like close to your, I think it's called a fatty pad. But that's when filler can migrate. But when it's kept in the right plane, it can't move anywhere. So yes, you can get filler migration if it's a cheaper product that's not applied the right way. So I think the final lesson here is just make sure you're going somewhere that's great, that use, uses good quality product because you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe some of the products that are out there that cost £30 and then, you know, someone will charge you £200 to get it, I don't know, in your lips. Whereas the filler that Laura Miller uses at Age Refined is £150. So it does, it's, it's like the quality of product. But I thought I would just share that in case any of you guys were wondering. But I'm really, really happy. You can see I've just got a nice, like from the side, I've got a nice defined border. And I've got my Cupid, I'll show, I'll show you when I'm doing my lips because you can really see it when I'm wearing makeup. Right, I'm going to go and straighten my hair and then I'll be back because I'm taking flipping ages. It's so quick and I've, do you know what I've done? I've put a ton of this Olaplex bonding oil in the ends just to keep it super sleek. It's, like I said, it's really rainy outside so it's quite humid and it should just keep my hair from going too nuts. Okay, makeup, so quick but effective. Uh, we're gonna do brows first. Juno's sitting at my feet. She's so funny, look, literally. Do you see this? Hello, oh, hello. All the time. Skincare, first of all, that Allies of Skin Blemish Keeper is unbelievable. I'm also trialing out some other things, but 
I can do a little updated skincare routine, I think, uh, even on Instagram stories or something if you want, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy at the moment. Um, 24 hour brow setter, my fave, and we're gonna chuck this through. My eyebrows, I've kinda just let, let them do their thing. I've not really been trimming them or anything. There isn't gonna be any foundation or concealer in this look, so if you feel like you want to wear foundation or concealer, go for it. I'm not gonna do that today. SPF, I've moisturized already. I'm gonna use the La Roche Posay one that I'm obsessed with. This is the Hylou B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30. Plenty of that. Very glowy, just to let you know. But I'm taking that and putting it all over, even though it is rainy and cold outside. Need to wear SPF. Right, I think this is beautiful. I really like it under makeup. If you have oily skin, it might just be a wee bit too dewy for you. In which case, I really recommend the La Roche Posay and Thelios. That's my other favourite one. I'll pop it up on the screen so you know what it looks like. Those two are my favourite SPFs at the moment. I really like the Thank You Farmer as well. There's quite a lot of SPFs I like actually. I feel like they've got really good lately. Now I've got my SPF on, I'm going back to brows. Gimme brow in the shade five, which is just a wee bit darker than my eyebrows. And I'm just putting that through. And I really like to do it in this order because I feel like Gimme brow sticks really well to the 24 hour brow setter. These are my two must have brow products. Especially now because I feel like brows are going back natural again. If you're a trend focused, I feel like, you know, with the soap brows, the fluffy brows, this is just such a natural way to get nice definition in your brows. Next, mascara, Lash Freak. And I'm just going to do a nice coat of this. I feel like mascara immediately makes you look more put together. I don't think I'll even put on too much, you know. The mascaras that I've been loving lately are this one and the Revitalash primer and mascara. I'm really excited because I'm actually filming a job for Revitalash. Anyone that's been here for the last, I don't know, six months will know how much I love Revitalash. It's totally changed my eyelashes. Hence why I can say I'm just going to chuck on a little bit of mascara because my lashes are so good now that I don't even need to really try. But yeah, I'm really excited. You'll see that next week. Okay, blush. This is cool. I'm going to take a big brush and I'm going to go in with Pesca Sunset Blush by Vive. And I'm getting some on the brush. And look at that. Instant. Don't feel like you need to have a full face of makeup on to wear blush. Actually, a bit of blush on bare skin. Oh my god, I just look like I've been in the sunshine. I'm not even going to use bronzer. I'm literally just using Pesca on my bare cheeks. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, let's do our lips next because I'm going to film my little Instagram stories, aren't I? Brat lip liner, the best. And I'm just going to enhance. So see if you look really closely at my lip line. It's quite uneven. I don't have like a solid border, so that's why I, I think that's one of the reasons I love lip liner so much because I can really crisp up that line. And I'm going on my lips slightly too. Yeah, that's nice. That's just my lip line. All right, I can't find my Dior powder, but I really do like that one. Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just taking a tiny bit of that and I'm just taking the shine off from that SPF. I do like the glow though, it's nice, but I really want Skin Dew to be the glow. Instagram stories, it is as easy as this. Either I go to a window or I sit right where I am and I get my little stand. I got this from Amazon. I think Amazon's just really good for when it comes to equipment and like tech. You know, I know you need to be careful. I've actually bought SD cards in the past that have been like fake. So I've filmed using these SD cards and um, the files have been corrupt. So if something's cheaper than it should be, it's for a reason. So I've got my little stand here. I'm going to see what the lighting's like. And I usually do it on Instagram stories. So I've got my stories up. That's not very nice. So I get light in. That's nice. So let me take a picture. <laughs> There's me. And I literally just film it. Sorry, now, now that light's on, I can see that I've not done my makeup. Oh, I'm so happy with my lips. So subtle. Oh, a wee bit of lip balm. Take a plast with my lip liner. Do you know what I like about that lip balm the most? Look, it's not glossy. I think that when lip balms are too glossy, they can look greasy. Either I want to wear a lip gloss or I want to wear a lip balm. I don't want a glossy lip balm. Like it almost just looks like I've got lipstick on, but it's my, the colour of my lips. And the feature on Instagram where you can do hands-free is great. 
I'm sure so many of you all know this already. When you hold in the button for hands-free, it gives you a three second countdown. So you don't need to start it and then straight away go. So I'm just gonna fix my hair. So I've got my product in my hand that I know that I want to show. I'm not gonna talk. I get a bit nervous talking. I don't know why. I just do sometimes. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. So I'm gonna press the button. I've got a three second timer. I'm gonna show the product. I'm actually gonna have it ready on my hand. Show my hands, pick it up, put it on and probably do something at the end like that. Okay, so let's go. Wow. I fucked up. Ah! <laughs> I thought I was gonna put it on my chin there. What was I thinking? I'll do my head. But now it's too late. So basically I'm gonna have to work with what I've done so I can just see the bit where I messed up. I'm just gonna delete that one and I'm gonna delete the second one as well because I say wow. There we go, so cute. Me using my thing I made. I'm so proud of this. And yet once I've tapped it on, I love to use the pads of my thumb, like the base of my thumb, just to really pat that in. And what you're left with is just the most ethereal skin of all time. It also smells unbelievable. It's infused with squalene, which is amazing for adding hydration to the skin. It makes skin look really, really supple and, and bouncy and fresh and youthful. It's also got anti-inflammatory and antibacterial ingredients. So it's just unbelievable. It's like a skincare makeup hybrid. It's gonna care for your skin while you're wearing it, which do you want anything more? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the plan is. I had two cups of coffee today, one too many. Honestly, I can't do it anymore. Heart was beating like that, so I've got peppermint tea now. And I actually am one of those people that likes herbal tea. Do you know what's nice if you want a, I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of, of herbal tea, but see a wee sugar in a peppermint tea, so nice. I don't have sugar in this, but now I do want one. I just think this is such a pretty way to, I don't know, enhance your natural complexion and just add a little bit more definition to a couple of features. <laughs> this is what happens every time. I say every time, we've not done that the, this that many times, but when we used to travel, what are you, talking about the checklist? you would just be sit, standing in another room barking out equipment saying, <laughs> taking this, I'm taking this. Um, good morning. Good morning. Morning. <gasps> oh, do you know what you've not seen yet? Do you know what? It's because I'm used to you. Look at Jack's new hair. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. You look so cool. I, I love it. it. I love it so much. It's a great message just now, but... I think we look quite matching now though, and we dress the same quite often. Nah, yours is darker, isn't it? Yours yeah, is mine's, like mine's is warmer. Well, I've got... I can't, I'm kind of like that wee bit there. Like right at the... Uh, what do you call that? I don't know. This is Side the front. Burn. Side burn. <laughs> Jack's hair's great. It was so exciting. He came home, he'd been away at the hairdressers for quite a while. And I hadn't spoke to him and I was just a bit nervous. So I went through and I shut my eyes like this and I opened them and actually I just think he looks so handsome. So we're running about this morning getting packed and I really hope that we get enough vlog next week just because we're going to be campaigning. We're going to be doing makeup. Actually we'll definitely be vlogging. I'm really excited to show you that next week. And yeah, happy Sunday if you're watching this the day it goes up and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh look. <laughs> Discarded belt as soon as we came through the door. My hair oh, Help me. So everything was just No, quoi. That doesn't make sense, does it? I've been waiting for this day. I have been waiting for this day. So I'm gonna watch this. Do you know what I've um, watched this? I'm gonna eat this. I can't wait for this. Oh, I should take my shoes off. I think I've got a bogey. Right, I got a bogey. I'm just getting hit by a tail. What the heck? Oh, oh. Oh, I've got my period and I look crazy.